Yo guys, Jonathan here. Today's video is brought to you by hummus. We're giving away some chickpeas. I'm kidding. For that one guy out there who is furiously typing salt into his keyboard right now, I'm actually teaming up with Judner. So we're sponsoring this video to give you guys a chance to win your own Galaxy Note 9. Subscribe to both channels and check out the details down below. So number one was something that kind of made me do a double take, like, yo, Samsung, are you serious? There's two variants with the Galaxy Note 9, one with six gigabytes of RAM and 120 gigabytes of storage, which is cool, but for those who like it beefy, for those who love specs, for those who are on GSM Arena right now, ready to fact check me, get ready to salivate because there is one with eight gigabytes of RAM and 512 gigabytes of internal storage, not external, internal. That's crazy. When I saw that line, I kind of assumed Samsung was doing some sort of marketing trick. Like, okay, they got a Galaxy Note 9. It's got 256 gigabytes of storage. And maybe they're doubling that with a micro SD card, but nope, that is 512 gigabytes that is internal on the phone, which is nuts. Now on top of that, theoretically, you could double that up to a terabyte of storage with a micro SD card slot. So the idea of having one terabytes of storage in your pocket while lightning's happening is bananas. So for those out there who love their FLAC files, their RAW photos, for those who hate the cloud and gotta have those files locked and loaded, ready to go, the Galaxy Note 9 is very tempting. And more importantly, as you'll start to see, it separates itself from the Galaxy S9 Plus, which is really important. So number two, we all saw the press kit, we saw the leaks, and we were all wondering, why does Samsung have a Toy Story alien colored S Pen coming with this phone? And the reason for that is not only is it just neon colored, it writes in neon too. Now I get it, that's not some revolutionary, game-changing feature, but it's a cool way to separate itself. And it is worth noting that that feature is exclusive to the Ocean Blue Note 9, not on the Lilac Purple, which are the two available colors. Now also, like the leaks may have suggested, the S Pen now features Bluetooth Low Energy, which essentially means it turns into this little control stick that you can use for a multitude of things. You can use it to launch applications, you can trigger the shutter on your camera to take a photo, which is really helpful. Imagine you got it locked on a tripod away from you, just click the S Pen and you take in the picture. It also works with music so you can play, pause songs, imagine you're at the gym, that is gonna be much easier than going to reach for your phone or maybe your headphones don't support that. It also could work well for presentations where you're going through slides and it kind of makes sense. It just seems like a tool that you would use for that job. So yeah, the S Pen beyond that is kind of gonna do what it does at its core. That's why you would buy a Galaxy Note is for that S Pen. But I think this year, it was actually a nice way to spice things up a little bit. Now number three, yes, we saw the leaks, we saw the rumors that the Galaxy Note 9 was allegedly going to have a 4,000 mAh battery, but they did it, and that surprised me given their track record. Now this isn't me bashing Samsung for what happened to the Note batteries, they owned up to that, they fixed that, but I think all of us were a little disappointed last year with the Note 8 when we saw the battery capacity, but this year, they stepped it up, and 4,000 mAh is great because it separates itself again from the S9 Plus, which is 3,500 mAh. That should actually lead to some fantastic battery life, and I'm excited because again, it adds some separation between the S Plus models and the Note lineup. For the past two years, I think the general consensus was the S Plus model kind of felt like the Note without a pen that was released six months earlier. Now the display is 6.4 inches on the Galaxy Note 9 compared to 6.2 on the S9 Plus. And more importantly, again, I think it's those three things, the storage, the battery life, and the S Pen. That's what makes the Note feel like a Note because it's always been about the power users. Now, if you weren't a big fan of the Galaxy S9 or the S9 Plus, this probably isn't gonna change your mind, but if you're holding out and that extra battery, if that extra storage and the S Pen sounds appealing to you, this is going to be one attractive phone. Now, the camera is very similar to the S9 and S9 Plus with the dual aperture mode. There is one tweak though. The Galaxy Note 9 is gonna feature a bunch of AI tweaks, so it's going to scan the environment and then know whether you're taking a picture of a cat, of food, of a flower, of a human, and then optimize that to give you the best possible settings. That is something I'm always a little bit skeptical about, but I'm looking forward to testing that out and seeing if it's worth it or if it's a gimmick. So definitely stay tuned when I get my hands on one in-house. Beyond that, yeah, it kind of is a beefed up Galaxy S9, but that's not a bad thing. I think Samsung is more importantly getting back to their Note roots with this phone. You got a Snapdragon 845, USB-C, headphone jack, fast wire charging, fast wireless charging, water resistance. Overall, it's just got all of the essentials. And more importantly, it's a really well-rounded phone. I think for the most part, people are going to enjoy this. This though has kind of been my first impressions with my limited amount of time, but I'm super stoked to check it out more. Stay tuned for the unboxing, the review, and more importantly, again, if you guys want to win your own Galaxy Note 9, check out the link below. Thanks to Judner, your average consumer. This is Jonathan, and I'll catch you guys later.